Setting the mechanical stops on an EPI-2 actuator means we're going to limit the physical travel of the actuator's gear mechanism with the two stop bolts on the back of the actuator. The bolt closest to the hand wheel is the closed stop, and it will limit the clockwise direction of travel. The other screw on the back side is the open physical travel stop, and it will limit the counterclockwise travel of the drive stick. So to properly set these up, we want to have electronic limits of travel, 90 degrees apart. Outside of that, we want to have the mechanical limits set by the stop bolts. So if we take our hand wheel, rotate the actuator to the open position. Travel indicator is pointing straight down the pipeline. The valve is fully open. We'll loosen our stop bolt. We'll turn this in one turn until we contact the drive sleeve. We'll back, it, back it out one full turn. Slug the lock, bolt back down, lock nut. Now we can close the actuator and set the close travel stop. Once we have the valve in the position we want to limit the travel to, set the electronic limit will be set here. We're going to run this bolt in until it touches. Back it off one turn. Tighten the lock nut. And that's the mechanical limit set. That's the first step to setting up an actuator.